one today i'll be taking a, this section to explain how to trade futures and how to use leverages in trading trading futures now the first thing we want to do is to click on our futures button which is down here and after we click on the futures button we want to be able to come to our interface and when we come to our futures interface i want you to see that when you're trading futures you can either buy or long the market that is you are predicting that the, the price of the asset will be going pumping higher or you can decide to short the market that is you predicting that the market will continue to fall so when you are trading futures it gives you an opportunity to, to speculate whether the price will increase or continue to decrease which is also an opportunity for you to make money when the market is going up or when the market is falling. Now, the most important part of um, futures trading is your ability to use leverages. And um, when you look at, um, for KuCoin futures trading, if you click on this button here where you see my margin 5x, I, use, I usually use 5x margin. When you click on it, you see that we can even go as far as um, 20x. That means that for every movement in the price, you are going to be gaining 20 times. You can easily drag it to 20. You see, it's already writing that this leverage is too high. You see, please control the risk. It's very risky to trade um, futures not to talk about even using leverages you have to be a professional in market analysis your technical analysis or fundamental analysis have to be on point for you to be trading futures and not just trading futures alone using the leverages that are available on on, um, on crypto platforms because what you get in essence is that for every leverage you are using I am using 5x leverage which means that if i'm going to gain for every price movement i'm going to be gaining times five if i'm making one cent it's going to be times five and if i'm losing i'm also going to be losing times five so if i predict that the price of this asset which is currently um five five point two if i'm predicting that okay the, the I'm, I'm buying at this price 5.1 i'm buying 50 percent because i have um, some usdt in my account if you don't know how to transfer usdt in your account you can click on the button behind beside it there and it's going to transfer into your account or let me just quickly show you how to go about it you click on this arrow here and once you click on the arrow there you see it takes you to your it says you are transferring from your margin account to your futures account or you can change it if you don't have money in your margin account you can change it to your trading account to your futures account but what the futures account have to be on that year because that is where you are transferring to and you can either select all or enter a number the amount of usdt you want to transfer let's say 10 where you see you see i have insufficient balance so let's go back so if i'm predicting that the price okay i'm buying at this price you can see it has even fallen to my entry price so i have to go a bit lower so i'm buying at this price 554.7 and i'm buying 50 percent because i have usdt here all right so the next thing i want to do is to also ensure that i use my profit and loss so if i'm using my profit and loss i can assume that okay fine um my profit and loss i want to take profit because i am shorting the market i'm predicting that the price is going to keep falling so i can say it with this commodity will fall i'm speculating that it will fall to 52 dollars and fine at the same time i also want to predict that if it doesn't go based on my speculation i want to exit the market if the market moves to 656 dollar which is higher than the current price that is here has to be higher than the current price but because i have already speculated looked looked at my technical analysis and speculated 
I am making my prediction and I also want to take advantage of leverages. So I can come here and say, okay, instead of 5x, I want to make it 10x. Still, you see, they still saying that my 10x is too high, but I usually leave it at 5x. But sometimes for a beginner, you can just leave it at 1x and begin to test your skill. Then you move it to 2x, 2, 3, and so forth as you continue to get confident. But do not do more than 2x because you can empty your account in the twinkling of an eye. So once your, your technical analysis is perfect, you can go into futures trading and begin to make money, clear your debts and live a good life. But at the same time, you can run into debt if you don't know what you're doing. So trade futures with all carefulness and ensure that your analysis is perfect. So thank you very much. If you need any um, other um, tutorial on cool coin trading, you should let me know in the co in the comment section below. And also please subscribe and like this video. I will appreciate your feedback. Whatever you want me to share, I will gladly share. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.